without unions having won a small victory against Clover, the company that has been instructed by the CCMA to pay bonuses, my That's favorite right. colleague. That, <laughs> thank you, Tulesson. You were not under duress. <laughs> Uh, well, well, you I know. mean, I'm just putting it out there. I don't want our viewers to think of me in a certain type of way. But yes, part of this long-standing battle between Clover and the union, some progress is being made. And workers at Clover will continue striking despite a small victory at the CCMA. The CCMA has ordered the payment of 13th check bonuses, which was due in late November. Now, the Food and Allied Workers Union and the General Industries Workers Union organized pickets outside the CCMA office in Johannesburg and in Cape Town. The unions claim that the company withheld the bonuses to, dem um, to the striking workers last year. However, the unions say they will continue to strike until Clover reverses the retrenchments and dismissals linked to the October strike. Uh, that the action of the company were unlawful. Uh, there is absolutely no basis for their conduct in law. Um, over and above the fact that, um, as I said, the actual attempts and calculation to demoralize workers. But I do think that um, now with this victory, workers uh, are motivated, they're inspired, because what it also demonstrates more than anything else is that with organization, with unity and determination to fight, we can win.